14 athletes are using protein supplements to make them stronger and a lot faster, but are they safe? Well, today we're asking Dr. Parth and Andy about their popularity and their safety. Hi, Dr. Nandy. Hi, Carolyn. We want to ask you, how can protein powder affect teenagers? Because they all want them. They all want to get bigger, faster. Absolutely, super important. So teen athletes do need more protein to fuel their workouts. Now protein helps repair damage from exercise and builds muscles, but a body only needs a certain amount. So getting too much does not equal more muscle. Instead, overdoing protein powders or drinks can actually be harmful. It can lead to calcium loss, dehydration, kidney problems, especially if supplements contain creatine. Oh, so that's really that important magic to know word. That. Yeah, really dangerous, right? So what is, what is in protein powder that we need to know about? Okay, and protein powders come in different forms like whey, soy, hemp, and brown rice. The FDA really doesn't regulate these products, and Consumer Reports found some protein supplements actually contain illegal substances like steroids and heavy metals like arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury. This could lead to toxic levels and serious health consequences if consumed frequently. So really important stuff. You're right about that. So with this in mind, what are your prescriptions regarding protein and especially for teenagers? So Carolyn, teen athletes should skip the protein drinks in my opinion and instead focus on proper nutrition, hydration as well. And so number one, the healthiest way for teens to get extra protein is by eating the right foods. Great choices I think are meats that are lean, fish, eggs, beans, dairy, nuts and seeds. Also for a recovery drink following a workout or a sports game, Greek yogurt, I had that yesterday, or a milk smoothie works great. Or also one of my favorites, a tall glass of chocolate mm. milk will do the trick. Hydration also supports athletic performance, so drink water before, during, and after a workout. You can switch to sports drink after an hour of activity. And finally, please don't forget about the carbohydrates. The carbs, they provide fuel and protect muscles from breaking down. Eat healthy carbs like apples, bananas, or whole wheat bread one hour before exercise starts. Wow, chocolate, milk, and Greek yogurt. Never thought about that. So how much protein do kids really need? Okay, the, the recommended daily allowance for a 13-year-old is 34 grams a day. Now, girls between 14 and 18 years of age need 46 grams, and boys that, of that same age need 52 grams of protein daily. I think that with a little bit of preparation, kids can easily reach their daily amounts by eating whole foods. And that's the key, whole foods instead of a bunch of supplements. It's much safer, and they'll get the added benefits of vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats their body needs. Well, we got to hope a lot of parents are listening to you. We certainly are. Thank you so much for your My medical pleasure. expertise, as always, Dr. Nandy. Joanne.